Art students in science classes, they really want to respond creatively and create art about what they're learning. This year, we have a collaboration between the Visual Arts Division and the Ecology class where we're exploring forest regeneration and making art in the woods in response to what we're learning in the forest. 96 feet, I'm lucky enough to be part of a project which is taking place in a class called Art of Ecology. This is an opportunity to work with students, artists, and scientists and to create a large collaborative artwork that is student designed. The ecological problem that we're addressing here is taking a monoculture pine forest and restoring it back to a beautiful biodiverse native forest. The pine plantation on our campus is basically a tree farm. They were planted after the entire northern Michigan was timbered about a hundred years ago. The monoculture actually creates a vulnerability for the forest. As the trees are aging, they're beginning to fall. And as they fall, they're releasing all their carbon back out into the atmosphere. The best thing to do is to take those pines before they fall, put them into a building, use them to build something, lock up that carbon, and then promote and support the regeneration of the native forest, which would be very much more biodiverse and create um, habitat for mammals and birds and, and support a, a more healthy ecosystem. So as the forest uh, undergoes its transformation through thinning and uh, logging, uh, that opens up spaces for student art. We spent the first part of the school year taking the students out to the woods as much as possible. We were lucky enough to bring in two visiting artists and they were able to help get the students acquainted with the uh, location and the plot of forests that we're working on. And then students started um, collecting data and started thinking about what really needs to happen to help transition this forest. And all of that really helped them cre create a foundation of knowledge to then move forward with their artistic work. I think the scientific research process is not that far off from this artistic research process um, in the sense that you're trying new things, seeing what fails and seeing what succeeds. Artists bring a form of communication, they bring vision to ecological problems that I think can really help move um, our thinking forward about how to handle these problems. What art does is it allows another entry point to start thinking and learning about what's happening globally. And sometimes that is a softer, easier entry, and sometimes it's very jarring and in your face. And I think that the power of art to do that is so exciting and empowering. <laughs>